in this video we'll be studying about a very important and interesting topic of mathematics called as relations relations is not a new term we have studied and understood about relations in our everyday lives if i say p and q are related it means that p and q have some relation see for example if i have p and q as p is the brother of q that means p and q are related by the relationship as p and q are brothers similarly if i have x and y such that x is the mother of y that means what x and y are again related and the relationship can be as x is the mother of y where y is the son or y is the daughter this is about relation in our everyday lives where relation simply and simply means as connection of two or more than two objects but what about relation in mathematics now let's move on to what do actually relations mean in our mathematics relation in mathematics can be understood by the understanding of set and set theory we have already studied about sets for those who haven't i may repeat the definition of set set is a well defined collection of objects now in this definition of relations which i have written over here let's read it once take up the important terminology discuss it and then understand with the help of an example let's read the definition of relation the definition is if a and b be two non empty sets i am underlining what the what all things we need to discuss upon let a and b be two non empty sets then a relation r from a to b is the subset is the subset such that r is a subset this is read as is a subset such that r is a subset of a cross b where ab belongs to r and it is denoted as arb means a related to b now let's take up what do you mean by set what do you mean by subset and then revert back to the definition of relation to understand it in more detail now set in mathematics means a well defined collection of objects example would be set of girls in a boys school which would be an empty set because in a boys school there would be no girl or if i say set of all good apples from a basket of apples this is a well defined set but if i say set of all dangerous animals of the world this would not be a well defined set why because for me i may find an animal dangerous but for the other person who does not have the fear of animals may not find it dangerous so you understand that well defined this word has very much importance in the definition of set so if we have two non empty sets which have some or the other value some or the other element then a relation would be what it would be basically the subset of this this is nothing but the cartesian product what is it it is the cartesian product so a relation is a subset where subset means what subset for two sets a and b if all the elements of a are contained in b then we say a is the subset of b for example a has the elements or a has some things listed as a b c and b also has some elements say a b c d now in this example a and b where a b c are the elements of a a b c d are the elements of b i see that these three elements are contained in these elements so here we say that from these two that a is a subset of b so 
in the relation where all the things are related as a Cartesian product, if we take out some subsets out of those, we would be getting a relation. I have already written one example for proper understanding. For this and this, I mean for A and B, which are the two sets that are given to us with A as 1, 2, B as 3, 4 elements, I wrote the Cartesian product A cross B, 1 and 3, first element and first element, first element and next element out of this and in this manner we got some 4 ordered pairs in this. Now A cross B is the Cartesian product. If somebody now says R and writes it as 1 related to 3, it is not wrong. This is a relation defined from this Cartesian product. So this is an example of relation 1 related to 3 because 1 and 3 are definitely related. But if a second person would say R such that 1 related to 5, is it true? 1 related to 5? No, because we don't have any ordered pair as 1 comma 5. That means this is not an example of relation, but the above one is. So now we understood what are relations basically. Relations are basically connection between two or more objects in everyday language. And similarly in mathematics also, relations are nonetheless different. They are nothing but connection or association which is related to the Cartesian product and is taken out as a subset of the Cartesian product, which we can already study with some examples. In the next video, we'll be seeing what do we mean by the types of relation and we'll take them up in detail.